stem cell therapy. Good news for multiple sclerosis patients. Another moon on Earth. And recreating the Big Bang. Hi, I'm Leanna, and you're watching Health and Science Review on We Show TV. A new medical program provides newborns with the access to therapeutic stem cells from their umbilical cord blood to help treat brain damage. Know more about this new therapy. Provides expectant parents the ability to store these valuable stem cells for free to use for children born with an increased risk of developing a neurological disability. Not only can we cure diseases today with cord blood stem cells, but in the future... Hope for more than 400,000 Americans with multiple sclerosis. An oral compound can significantly reduce the number of relapses and brain inflammation in MS patients for up to a year. It took me about two weeks for it to really sink in that I had something uncurable and I couldn't get rid of it. Now I'm going to check your reflexes. Like can, most people with MS are first diagnosed with the relapsing remitting form of the disease, which means symptoms are stable for periods of time and then flare up or cause relapses. Over the years, Ken has been on many of the currently available treatments for MS, all given by injection, and had mixed results. Our next video presents a theory that the Earth may have a second moon, right beneath our feet. If you said up in the sky, you'd be dead wrong. The actual location of the Earth's other moon may be beneath your feet. How the heck could that have happened, you're doubtless wondering. Well, some scientists believe that over four billion years ago, a Mars-sized object struck our young planet. The Horizon Experiment tries to recreate the exact moment following the Big Bang, taking a glimpse at the fundamental particles that formed the universe. The Large Hadron Collider. November the 26th, 2007 promises to be an extraordinary day. That's all for today's Health and Science Review. See you soon.